he's just been very, very particular about how I'm, how I'm viewed and, and, and how I'm seen. Kanye is so good at bringing up artists who are so talented that they probably would have come up anyway, but he just saw it early and he helped give them a platform and he helped make his own records dope. Big Sean, Kid Cudi, you know, Travis Scott. He gave J. Cole a big look on a Good Friday song. I think one particular artist that Kanye West kind of pushed the button on has to be John Legend. He's a little bit known on the underground scene in New York as this really talented musician, played instruments. But then um, when he got with Kanye, it was kind of like the battery in the back of his career. He just he was just out of here, and now he's just a, a world-renowned singer. Kanye is very selective on who he's, who he's standing next to, who he co-signs. And when he does do it, it's an event. It's not just a single. It's not just a video. It's an album. It's a tour. It's a documentary. It's a staple in the progression of hip hop. He's also repackaged artists like Pusha T, Common, Most Def, Talib Kweli. Look at Pusha T's life after Runaway. Pusha T was down with clips. Ill MC, anybody that's a hip hop head knows who Pusha T is, knows his bars are crazy. But then Kanye West, you know, gives him that cosign. It's like, now Pusha T has deals with Adidas, or, you know, he's the president of good music. First and foremost, he gave me that platform. The platform with Runaway was big. He's just been very, very particular about how I'm how I'm viewed and, and, and how I'm seen. Common. Like we all know Common was nice. He links up with Common on B, that's a five mic, five star classic. Kanye was the first producer I worked with that would sit there and be like, man, change that verse or no, nah, yeah. leave that take the way it is. And I'd be like, no, nah, I'm changing it. But I started listening, it kinda like I got I got my ego out of the way and just was like, man, I was learning from it. And I think it's hard for the eye to see itself for you to be like, that is. yeah, you like you out, you thinking everything you're doing is pretty dope. Right. Look at the next generation of MCs right now. The DNA of Kanye West is there. Whether it's somebody that's already on the A-list themselves, like say uh, Drake. When you look at the way Drake came up, like the Kanye influence is just undeniable. There's a reason that Drake has said multiple times that he wouldn't exist without Kanye. He really embraced his own complexity and contradictions and hypocrisy within himself, you know? Album one, he's saying, I always said if I ever rapped, it'd be something significant. Now I'm rapping about money, hoes, and rims again. It's like he's right there from the jump telling you, I am many things and I'm conflicted. And he'll rap a Jesus Walks and then he'll just be like a grimy dude too. Listen to 808s and Heartbreaks and listen to uh, some of Drake's earlier mixtapes when he's incorporating the singing, where you know, he's just like putting all these emotions on a record when that was kind of frowned upon before. You didn't really do it too often. Um, and he made it like easier. So it's like he, he paved the lane un unwittingly for other artists like a Drake to you know step on it and, and take it to the next level where they, wherever they want to take it. If you get that Kanye West cosign and you're actually talented, like you're gonna be out of here just because he puts that much many more people um, aware of who you are. He's just a master of getting you into really talented people.